This is the third video in this introduction. Um, and um, again, for your lab number one for RBE 2001, you're going to create the six block mechanism. Uh, you don't have to bother putting pins in, but uh, it would be good to put in spacers. Uh, and um, let's see, I'm just going to set this back the way it was before. Okay, so where the, wherever there are spacers, you know, again, you have to have it so that there aren't, there aren't any collisions. So in your assembly, you'll show like the back plate, these links, and the spacers, but you don't have to show any pins. So what we want to do now is, um, for the people who haven't used SOLIDWORKS before, is actually start, start right from scratch and make these parts and then put them together in the assembly. So... Um, So we'll select the new button, and again, with uh, make sure you have advanced selected there. And if you have the path set up to that folder with these templates, uh, then we'll be good to go. So we're going to start with an inch part. And um, the way that you create parts in SOLIDWORKS is normally probably more than 95% of the time you start with some two-dimensional sketch. And either, then you either do an extrude, a revolve, a sweep or a loft, um, and for all the parts that we're going to do for this assignment can be done with an extrude. So we just need to create a two-dimensional sketch and then extrude it some thickness. So um, every part file comes automatically with these work planes, top, front, and right, and a work point and origin. So we have to put a, a sketch plane on, and the XY plane is that they call that the front plane. So if I just click on that and I get this icon right here, that's an easy way to put a sketch plane on that front plane. And so what I might do here to uh, create, say, like a one-inch link with, uh, I'm just going to create a circle there. And see that SOLIDWORKS is trying to help me here. Um, so that little icon means it's, it's trying to make that horizontal. It thinks that I want that to be horizontal. Um, it didn't actually end up putting that in. So one of the things I'm going to do is hold on the control key and pick this other one, click the, click on the equal sign, okay? And um, then I'm just going to pick on this point, hold down the control key, and pick on that point and put in this make horizontal. So that keeps those two things horizontal, and uh, it keeps these equal. So at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and dimension the, the distance between these two and let's make this a four inch link and then I'm going to say that uh, these will be 0 0.125 with which is would be eighth of an inch these will be the holes and then the next thing I'm going to do is actually put some circles uh, that will be concurrent I'm sorry concentric not concurrent um, and make these two equal and then put a dimension on those and maybe I'll make that 38.375 okay and then I'm just going to go from that quadrant point over to here if I double click it restarts the line command and over to here and notice that this says fully defined fully defined so in other words there's only one interpretation of this Everything is locked down. All the dimensions are there. Um, and now I'm just going to go ahead and hit the extrude button. And because there's more than one closed loop here, it's, it's asking me to select the contours. So I'll select that one, that one, and that one. And I'm going to extrude this uh, 0.125, an eighth of an inch. OK, so uh, there's the first link. And um, I'm going to pick up from here in the next video and um, continue on.